Hi folks, Dave here with Creek Beaters TV. Tell you a little bit about this uh, this week's episode. Uh, this week, I'm going to fish the same bodies of water that I've been fishing. I've got a, a series of ponds that I fish in Lafayette, Indiana. And um, the reason I'm revisiting them today so soon, this last video you watched uh, was a two-week compilation of videos, okay? Uh, showing patterns and how they change from week to week and using I was using, using the same bait um, but this week I'm changing it up a little bit uh, and the reason being is because on those videos I caught oh, 40 plus fish but I caught them they were all smaller. They were all two pounds and less, okay? I know this body of water has some big, big bass in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and hit the same body of water. And uh, it's my goal this time is to go back and target just the bigger fish. And how we're going to do that is I'm using a bigger bait and... Uh, a, you know it's a pretty simple rig but um I'm, I'm doing it mainly to see and to show that uh that it can be done okay um so here's what we're using okay uh i bet this is gonna be backward yep it's backward <laughs> anyway it is the zoom uh zoom super bait or super salt plus old monster worms what we're looking at is uh, basically a 10, 10 and a half inch ribbon tail worm. And this is in red shad, okay? And I'm also going to do that too. I have another bait that I'm using. And I'll link these baits in the description of the video. But um, I've I got another one. It's kind of a clear red. And it's a zoom also. But um, we're going to see if there's a difference between those, you know. I'm going to fish an area and... If I don't get anything with one, I'm going to throw the other in the same exact areas and see if it produces over this one. So, uh, what I got here, here's the hook we're using, okay? It's pretty cool. You see that bend in there? These are twist hooks, okay? These are long shank worm hooks, just like you'd use for a normal uh, plastic worm, rubber worm, okay? Um and the only difference to them is they're twisted, okay? See that twist in there? That twist puts your hook offset to the side, your hook point, and uh, it's pretty cool. It, it will allow for better hookups on your, on your fish. Now, the way, <coughs> the way that we're using it, I'm uh, sorry, I'm using this microphone, guys, because I just, this is a microphone I bought years ago, and... I love the sound quality of the of the uh, microphone, so that over stock, so that's why I'm using it. So you'll see it in front of my face here a lot, and for that, I apologize. But for the uh, quality, I do not. <laughs> so this is how we're using it. Uh, you just we're gonna do a weedless rig on it. You see, hopefully you can see that hook is out there, and you just push the worm up there, and bam, it makes it somewhat weedless. So. Right now, all I gotta say is let's go fishing, guys, and thanks for joining us on Creek Beaters TV this week. Uh, I hope we hit, we give you some really good action today. Uh, and if not, I apologize. But if uh, if we do, then I'll just say, hey, I told you so. That's just how good we are. So hey, we'll be right back, guys. Thanks for joining us. a bite. I already had one pick it up. Little guy. Letting it sink down to the bottom. This is the same body of water that uh, I have been fishing all right. Catches a lot of little guys here. Today, 
We're trying to fix that. Trying to catch some big ones. We do know that there are big ones here. Wish I'd get a really good shot of that thing sinking because it goes it goes down very slowly. Alright, I had one pick this up. He swam with it now for a while. I'm not real sure that I'm gonna get him, but here we go. One, two, three. swam with that for quite a while I'll probably let him take it too long but there's one on the board folks so we've got the skunk out as kayak catfish likes to say we'll get the old uh, picture you know CPR like always Lot better a lot better fish folks we've all had this happen haven't we well here's a fix for it guys take your drag on your reel and loosen it really really loose Then, if you get a good run from a fish, when it takes off, it will take, it doesn't take, it doesn't take your rod in, it takes the line off of the reel until you can get to it. Then when you pick the reel up and your line is going out, you just stop the reel with your hand to set, get the hook set and hold that there while you tighten that down. It only takes a little bit there. We're already into where our, we're into the fighting drag now. So there you go, folks. I'm Dave at your Creek Beaters tip of the week. <laughs> purpose of the video is to show uh, what what works for bigger bass okay um, and here's what we've gotten so far you know we've gotten uh, he was three probably close to four pounds um, but the bigger slower baits are working for the bigger fish but okay both of those bass have hit the bright red worm on the fall
So I'll try to show you the difference between the worms that I'm using. I showed you the on the intro. This is the one I showed on the intro. And that's the one I'm using or that I caught both fish on so far. I'll go ahead and switch over. See if uh, I can replicate it with the darker worm. Go so through that bright red worm. The bright red, we'll call it bright red right now. I threw it over there before and didn't get a bite. So let's see if the darker red shad worm does any better. All right, folks, I had one pick it up over there on that bank. Let's see if we can't get him. Well, I got him. Hopefully he's a little bigger. I don't feel like it. feels like he's a little smaller. I don't know. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. For what I've been catching here, he's, he's in the upper echelon of what I've been catching. So, not bad. And they are engulfing. Engulfing them. Oh, I had a bug fly in my eye. Okay, so what I'm trying to show folks uh, is the ultimate point to the video is to show that same body of water, how the patterns changed between, on my last two videos, so the change in the pattern, I was having to go hit the bank right on, to, on where the bank is hitting the water and come out. And the second part of that video was I had to fish parallel to the bank <laughs> to catch my fish because the pattern didn't work then. And now um, I'm showing, since that was a video of a whole bunch, of small fish. Now I'm trying to show fish in the same body of water. I don't know why I have so much trouble with GoPros, but I do. I shouldn't have said the word because now they'll both die. But anyway, fish in the same body of water, folks, and targeting the bigger fish and being successful in doing that. That's that's the purpose of this video. I thought we had one there, but I think that was either a stick or a rock. Nope. There it goes. He's on there. And it feels heavy. So. One. Two. Three. He felt heavier. And it's a little bigger bass. That's all we're out here for. That was on that bright red. He's a healthy two and a half, three pounder. These hooks have been hitting the bottom of the tongues. I'm not sure if that's a, a trait of these hooks or what. That's kind of, I don't normally do that but we are today I'm gonna let that uh, string go for one more fish I might end up to regret it but there's a few little nicks on there Ooh, I should retie let's see if I regret that decision something tells me I'll live to regret that one Probably right here on this cast. Man. Well, the bright red has produced three out of the four fish. bring that up I'm gonna retire it 
it doesn't make sense that you know there's nicks in there and then you go ahead and throw it anyway let's go ahead and bring it up there it is oh you let go of it I figured that one would let go I, I had a little too much tension on him Probably a small one too. See him swimming with it, guys? I think he's a small one, but one, two, three. Ah, see, that's what I don't want to do, but I don't want him choking on it anymore either. It's all right, he didn't get a hook in him, so potential to catch him again. I think he was a little guy. But I'm trying to keep him from choking on it. What you want to do is you want to watch your line. See, my line is laying flat in the water. I hope you can see that. It's laying flat in the water, so I know that I've hit the bottom. It's no longer falling. See, I give it a few seconds right there. Nothing. Bounce it up off the top of that grass. Watch falling 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 stop one two three let's go ahead and stopped one two three falling stopped one two three and this is what you do in your head over and over and over again just to uh, repeat any success that you might have had Real quick question for you guys. Do you like an instructional aspect of fishing videos or do you just like watching people fish, catch fish, things like that? If you will, please leave a comment under the video or email us at creekbeaterstv at gmail.com and let us know if you like what exactly what you like because I don't want to be a, a fishing teacher around here if all you want to do is sit and watch me fish and vice versa I don't want to stay here and fish if you want actual instruction that's kind of where me and Lawson will uh, disagree he thinks that or he's more into just the going fishing and letting you follow along and enjoy it with us where I think instructional is kind of where it's at to uh, teach you man let you get out here and do it give you some sort of idea on how to do it well, I decided to go ahead and roll the cameras here because we're losing daylight pretty quick uh i'm not sure what happened guys but the, the bite just stopped i haven't had a bite in a long time and i'm fishing fishing good spots i don't know i just uh keeping it up we had a little rain come through but that shouldn't have done anything but helped the situation out a little bit, but well, they stopped. So what I'm hoping to happen, I'm hoping I get at least one more on camera 
It'll be a slobber knocker. Right down here. <laughs> hey folks, if you like the videos we're putting out, do us a favor, please, and just like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we're trying to build this channel up so we can do it full time and bring you a little more exciting shows than what we have now and what i mean by that is i wouldn't mind showing you a little tarpon fishing <laughs> and right now we just don't have the means to do it so we do it's just hard to get together and do it if we were doing it full time that would be our job and we could get out and do it and get it done Well, there you have it, folks. That's this week's show. That's this week's Creek Beaters TV for you. I uh, hope we helped you out and hope you learned a little bit today. Uh, I learned some stuff. You know, I really did. I learned that um, it, it's really cool, man, to target big bass and catch primarily big bass over the small bass that I had been catching. And um, we'll be, uh, we're, we're going to start doing a little more of that stuff. Um, I think we're going to start doing some reviews on different baits and stuff too. So this is Dave for Lawson saying thanks for watching Creek Beaters TV. Again, like, subscribe, and share the videos on YouTube. And if you're here on the network, man, come back and join us. We really appreciate it. So till next week, we will see you. What are you talking about? Creek Beaters TV? That's awesome.